There's a woman you marry that will help you squander what your father gave you. But there's a woman you marry that the best your father gave you becomes the beginning of true greatness. A woman. A prudent wife. You know what prudence is? Check in your dictionary. A prudent wife. Not just a wife. A prudent wife. A man has to please God to meet such a woman. Meaning a man has to know God. A man has to transact with God to meet that kind of a woman. You can't meet that kind of a woman except it is God. A prudent wife. When you get her, your journey to wealth, when you marry right, three quarters of your problems are solved by your marriage. But when you marry the wrong way, you owe life three quarters of the rest of your life. You have scores to settle with life. You have debts to pay. You are owing life three quarters of your life by marrying wrong. There are women you marry, you can't be... There is a woman you marry, the truth is you will never be rich. If you have to be rich, you have to hide the money. You have to go and buy a house in Kisumu and nobody should know. You have to buy a car and hide it in Kitui. You have three taxes in Kitui, but you must ensure there is no trace. There is nothing pointing to the fact that you have a car. You have to live like a sojourner. You have to. And nothing is as painful as secrets that are known to you alone. You have children, but they don't know what you have. You have a wife. You can't tell. You have money. Ukiwa na pesu na lala na koti. <laughs> a prudent wife is a wife that acts and shows care and thought for your future. Is this is that listen, you can't separate a wife from the future. There are women you marry and your future is finished. You will never build a house. You will never buy anything. You will never improve the lives of your brothers and sisters. You will never change your father's compound because you married your own principality. I know a woman that even at the deathbed, the, a woman that stood between the father and the son, he cornered this guy that even when the guy was released where the guy was working, they ate all the money. The guy got another job. He stopped the guy from relating with his biological father. And the man looked like his father. She squandered this man that when the man was about to die, and the mze came to collect his dying son, the woman took off. Gave the old man bones. Said, Nimekuachia mifupakula. There's a woman you marry. And she'll run away when you are born. These women you see seated here during the service. Saying I shall marry. If once you know her very well and she says I shall marry while looking at you. Open your eyes and say back to the sender. Open your mouth and shout a very big back to the center. Because a prudent, a prudent wife is a wife who thinks the future. You can give her a gift of 100,000. My wife, I just felt I want to be a blessing to you. And after three months, she comes back to you and says, you know, I bought some chicken. I tried to do a cage, but what you gave me was not enough. If I only get like another 50,000, in the next one year, I will be having this and this and this from the 100,000 that you give me. My brother, you got a wife. And you know the good news? You can test these girls before you marry them. 
and know whether you are going to mortgage your future or you are going to secure your future. Marriage either saves your future or destroys your future. There are women you marry, you will never have even chicken. Hata ukienda mahali ushikiwe kuku, ukileta hiyo kuku nyumbani ukifunga, ukienda job ukirudi, unasikia rufu fulani. Unasema na ile nilikuwa nataka kufuga ile kuku. Your chicken has met an timely death. <laughs> there are women who are hazards. There are women who are murderers of wealth, killers of prosperity, anti prosperity agents, enemies of the future. They bewitch long life. They leave you lean, slim, finished, and grounded. A prudent wife is a future-oriented wife. A wise woman, a judicious woman, an advisable woman, well-advised, sensible, a woman that has sense. Only God can give you a woman. Your father can choose for you and make a mistake. Remember the mistakes you are seeing with your mother are part of his mistakes. So if you allow... <laughs> I didn't say don't allow your father advise you. Your father can advise you and say my son okay according to me uh, blah 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 you know I have to say that carefully because Elder Mike is here with his sons and they will find the ground telling hey muyu bana sasa unasikia vile pasi amesema the the old man can advise you and say my son don't go this way but when it comes to a wife even your dad may not know everything you need god you come to your dad and you say daddy i've prayed and prayed and prayed and there's this lady I don't know what you think. The question will be, have you taken her through the tests? Because there are women you marry and you have no future. When a girl begins to talk of a birthday of 250,000, you haven't married her. Your mother's house needs only 100,000 for the roof to be changed. You talk about the village, she runs mad. She says, village in this generation, are we going to live there? When you marry me, so we are going to live there. So I'm going to be your community wife. A, a, a girl is talking like that, who is born again. So you are marrying me for your mother, for your father, for your brothers. You, you know, you really need to assure me because you are scaring me. So you are, a, you are a, 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 a mommy's boy. Because you talked about your village, you are now mommy's boy. Because you talked about your mother's leaking house, you are now mama's boy. She wants to isolate you, then assassinate you. 